Hi, just uh, updating you on my progress with the Razor Hydro project. So, as before, press the bumper button and the hand will start tracking. Now, I've seen all this before. But the new thing is the reloading with the pistols. You can now push a button on the side of the controller to release the magazine and arms down to the side of Lara Croft and reload. Which just feels awesome. Um, reloading the assault rifles also fixed. And press a button on the side of the controller. Magazine out, reach down, you went in. Did some public testing and people really like the reloads, so it's really satisfying. Next thing, mounted weapons. The reload, the magazine drop is also the use button now. So you can click and it snaps into place. And now, obviously, I can swing the gun around. And I can press the bumper button to look down the side. Might be better if you're standing up because then you can sort of lean around. Might be more realistic. Maybe I'll do stand and start thinking about standing up when I get new Oculus Rift. Um, got a mounted sniper rifle as well. Again, upper button to look down the sights. Thing, which is the most fun bow and arrow. Well, I've got a switch melee weapon button now, so you can switch between your main weapon and an empty hand or, or melee weapon if you've got one. So, to use the bow, you pull the trigger with the empty hand, snaps onto it, and then you can pull back and get this nice aiming guide. There's the rotation of the left hand, which determines where it's going. Using sound effects, maybe. I haven't got any sound effects on the bow yet. Um, yeah, anyway, I've also set up a very simple level just to try and give you some sort of idea of what shooting people actually feels like with this control, with this control scheme. So I've got some weapons here. Um, it's just a little compound that's full of enemies. Sadly, there's no melee. I feel a bit cautious about doing that though, because I could hit them up very easily. I've given them like nice dying voices as well. Okay, now here. I have a melee weapon or a torch. Again, you can't hit yet. But it is nice because you can push it, turn it on by pressing the bumper button with your finger, and then you can either hold it down here and to your side, so turn it off and on. Or 
or these enemies don't actually hurt you by the way. That would be Yeah, you can imagine if they were shooting me. Um, anyway, with the torch, you can flip it round. If I there we go. So now I'm holding it more like proper style as you might call it. the end of this level. And then we've got a nice transition into the, into the driving bit. I've changed this gun for an Uzi just to make the drive part a bit better. Um, yeah, it's still not very easy to shoot while driving, but at least you can do it now. Yeah, you can just imagine if you did have an Oculus Rift, then you could literally look to the side and, and shoot like that, but because there's a screen in front of me, I can't do that yet. It's not working very well. Uh, yeah, definitely need some sort of head tracking. Um, and yeah, in my last video, then I the shooting yourself in the head thing was uh, a gimmick, but um, with this version, you can actually shoot yourself in the face, and it closes the game. Um, that's only working in the driving version of the thing, so you can't do that in the other levels. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think. Cheers. Oh yeah, download link is in the description by the way. Have fun.